This will be a quick guide on how to combo sorceries in Elden Ring and create a bullet hell for your enemy in PvP. If you find it useful, leave a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe. So, the beginning of this is with initiators. Your initiators are either going to be Swift Glenstone Shard, Night Shard, and Carrion Slicer. And when you start a combo with these, these very quick spells that say you can be fired off without delay, these are a way to cancel the beginning animation of following spells, such as Shard Spiral. So usually you get that crest, but if you do carry and slicer beforehand, it cancels that animation and lets you fire off the spells much quicker. After you pick your initiator and your chains in your combo, you want to pick your finisher. This is either going to be something very heavy, like a Duelist Moonblade, or something light, like Night Shard, to let you get out of the combo quickly and complete any animations as quickly as possible. Mix-ups are also important with this, so it is important to practice cycling through your menu and read the situation so that you can skip ahead in your menu and change up your combo. And this is especially important in duels when you're gonna have the hardest time hitting your opponent and they will remember chains that they got tagged with and know how to dodge them the second time around if they're paying attention and trying to learn during that duel. For duels, I really recommend keeping Carrion Slicer in the first slot. And in the second slot, I really like Shard Spiral. You get this from Selen's Quest and it is extremely hard to dodge and it lingers, which means you can fire that off and then fire off a Comet after it and they will both be kind of near your opponent at the same time. And then you can combo that into an Adula's Moonblade for a big wave of frost damage and just really create a bullet hell for your opponents in duels. In invasions, it's not as much about creating a difficult to dodge barrage for your opponent or even creating mix-ups. It's really just about luring them into high damage attacks. And since you're outnumbered, they're going to be overconfident and rushing you. So. It's not, again, about forcing them to roll with your twin shards. You can do that just to kind of harry them or keep one of them busy. But really, you just want to do your initiator and then get to Comet or some other sort of big finisher to land those big strikes and either kill them outright or force them to flask and win a good battle of attrition. Another good thing to do is to just kind of forego the initiator system altogether and combo together big attacks into big attacks. Adula's Moonblade into Stars of Ruin is really great. You can do one or two Adula's Moonblades. They will freak out and start panic rolling generally, and then the Stars of Ruin will finish the job. So with invasions, you can be a little bit more creative since your opponents will not be as good at dodging your attacks because they will be focused on bashing your brain in. So be careful with that. One final tip is holding up on the D-pad will instantly cycle your spells back to your first spell. So make sure that's your most used initiator, like Carrion Slicer is probably gonna be your best pick. And check out my incantations combo guide if you wanna see more of this. And I hope you stay milky and subscribe for Strong Bones. I love y'all.